Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is uh, Gina, and this is a Leo-only channel. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Cancer-only channel, Virgo-only channel, my main channel, Tarot of Light, and then I have a new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Um, that channel, we're going to be doing dating advice and spiritual healing. So you could even email me at Divine Spirit Healing 1111 with um, uh, any subject matter that you may want me to touch on. Okay. Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway on the first of every month. I announce two winners for a three question emergency reading. So hashtag reading to enter to win. Um, if you're looking to start your own tarot channel or learn how to read tarot, you could check out my tarot tutorial. It's about two and a half hours long. The link is below. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, I have video readings available and I also do um, phone readings. You can text me for a phone reading. I'm hoping to get completely caught up on phone readings by the end of this week. Okay. Um, but you can text me and, you know, I'll try to get you in. Okay. Um, and if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I do have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle, which is currently buy one, get one free. And then we've got Royal Rose Tarot, which is 20% off. Okay. All right. That's Royal Rose. All right. Let's get popping. What do we have here today for my little lion cubs? Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Let's pull a self-care oracle for Leo. Okay, so we have released doubts. You've been here before. Trust yourself and believe in your own strength to own your life. So any doubts that you have, Leo, as to whether you're good enough, if you're on the right path, if you're on the wrong path, Spirit is saying to release doubt and live in the present, okay? All right, let's see what we have here today. <coughs> Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please. Okay. So we've got next week, we've got continued search and fairy tale fantasies. Release <clears throat> unrealistic expectations to avoid disappointments and continued search. You will date several others before you settle down with the one. And then symbiotic here, which says a mutually beneficial relationship. They will match your efforts in the connection and swept up. A whirlwind romance will soon sweep you off your feet. Okay, so Leo, I feel like by this time next week, okay, you're going to come to the realization that whoever you're dealing with, you're living in fantasy land. You're living in la la land. Okay. Um, you're, you're starting to be realistic about this. Hold on, buddy's drinking water. We'll just let him finish. There we go. Um, so you're being a little bit more realistic about, you know what? This is never going to work out. This is just a fantasy. I don't know what I'm thinking, wasting my time with this person. And you're going to start pursuing other options. Spirit is saying when you start pursuing other options, you are going to meet the one. Okay. You are going to meet the one. I feel like with a uh, tough love here, trials and tribulations will have you feeling hurt and burnt out. So by this time next week, Leo, your person is going to do something or say something that is just going to make you tired. You're going to feel your heart becoming hard. Like, you know what? I've given this 101 chances and this person keeps disappointing me. I'm living in a freaking fantasy by believing that this person is ever going to change. And I feel like by spring, Leo, you're going to end up meeting your forever person. Okay. Um, what deck do I want to use? <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. 
So we've got the Hanged Man in the reverse, Pisces energy, and the Three of Cups. So Leo, you may have reconciled with somebody and I feel like this is gonna be the last go around because the hanged man in the upright talks about suffering, sacrificing to gain enlightenment and you are done suffering and sacrificing to figure out what the hell this person wants from you, what the future holds. The light bulb has gone off. You're having the epiphany. You're seeing the truth for what it is, okay? And the truth is you're dealing with a douchebag, okay? A douche, a whole douche. Okay, <laughs> you know, with the high priestess here and the 10 of wands, there's an energy again, more Pisces energy, very intuitive energy here. And I feel that Leo, you know, your intuition is weighing you down that there's a problem here. You're just gaining that enlightenment. And with the 10 of wands, you're tired. You're tired of being disappointed by this person. You're tired of it never working out. You're tired of the in and out, the constant on and off. With the two of wands and the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups, Leo, which is absolutely beautiful, you're choosing new. You're saying, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I feel like you're walking away from this. Buddy is having some issues today. I got to get him to the vet. He's had this cough now for a few days, and I, I don't know. He's never had a cough before. I didn't know dogs could even get coughs. So I have to see. I have to take him to the vet. Okay. Um, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the uh, Ace of Cups, Leo. This is you deciding it's time to move somewhere new. Okay. It's time to go in a different direction. It really is. I feel like with the nine of swords and the king of pentacles and the five of wands here, Leo, you are dealing with an individual that has a lot of trouble with commitment. You know, you're seeking a king of pentacles energy with a, which is someone that is loyal, committed, devoted. Uh, they bring a feeling of safety and security to a connection. And with the five of wands, you are definitely not feeling this with this person. The five of wands will have you sitting in a fearful, insecure energy where you're constantly feeling like you're in competition. There's drama, there's jealousy, there's fighting. And with the two of swords, you are done. You don't want to feel that way anymore. And, and, and with the judgment card here, Leo and the chariot, this is your, your final decision on this. You are choosing what's best for you. And what's best for you is to remove yourself from this because this person is not going to be changing anytime soon. Tell me about the hanged man in the reverse we've got the emperor. I feel that Leo, you're starting to realize what you really want out of a partner. And you're looking for a king of pentacles that can grow into an emperor because the king of pentacles sits right underneath an emperor. Okay. You're starting to realize what you really want in a partner, what you really need in a partner. Tell me about the three of cups and the wheel of fortune. Every time you reconcile with this person. You think that this person is going to provide you with everything that you're praying for and manifesting. And instead, I feel like, you know, you find, yeah, see, look, queen of wands, eight of cups, and the knight of wands, and the seven of cups. You catch this person cheating and talking to multiple people behind your back. And your intuition starts to bother you, making you feel like something isn't right. With the ten of wands, the eight of cups, and the queen of wands, I feel like Leo, you're not jealous anymore. You're getting disgusted. That that's the energy that I'm getting here. In the past, you fought, you jumped through hoops, you wanted this person's attention. You're not fighting for it anymore. It's like, you're not even jealous anymore. You're just disgusted. Like, you know, I don't get jealous. I get disgusted, right? You ever hear that, that phrase? And you're just disgusted with the 10 of wands, the eight of cups. It's like, they can have you. The streets can have you. Okay. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, you're done. Tell me about the two of wands here and the nine of pentacles. You're choosing you, baby. You're choosing to be single. You're choosing to step into your highest energy. This is the last lesson that you are going to learn in dating that is going to help you ascend to pre-empress energy, which is divine feminine energy. And that is why you know exactly what you're looking for, which is this emperor energy. You want someone <clears throat> that's going to match this energy. I feel like, Leo, when you discard this person, money is going to start looking up. 
and love is going to start looking up, okay? The Fool card, this is a new journey that you're on. I feel like with the Five of Cups and the Justice card, there is a sense of, you know, disappointment, sorrow. You know, you've invested so much time in this, but you know that with the Justice card, you are making the right decision, okay? This is an energy of a relationship where the tower keeps falling repeatedly because you guys are not on the same page. You're not building this together. It's like one person holding the whole relationship on their back alone. And with the four of cups, you don't want it anymore. What you want is somebody that's going to build that foundation with you as a team. Um, so you're choosing you, you know, you are choosing you and, and you have new love coming in. Money and love are going to look amazing after you get this person out of your energy. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Okay. So Leo, <laughs> you are coming into an energy where you're placing your needs over everybody else. I feel that Leo, and I, I like this for you. I really do. You're falling in love with yourself, baby. Look at you kissing yourself in the mirror there. Like, fuck, I'm hot. <laughs> Why am I so hot? It's not even okay to be this hot, you know? So Leo, you're kind of falling in, self, uh, falling in love with yourself again. Um, very soon, as soon as if now to next month, Leo, I feel like you're gonna start feeling yourself again. You're gonna remember that you are that bitch or that dude. Like, you know, when you come out of a relationship with someone that doesn't see your value, has you jumping through hoops, constantly in competition with other people, it's that you're, you know, we tend to be very quick to forget that we have a whole freaking string of people, uh, you know, wait, waiting and wanting to date us. You know, we forget because the person that we want is so nonchalant about us, you know? So we have needs more time, retreat, and a heart given. So Leo, I think that you're going to take maybe like 30 days. I feel like you're going to take a month where you're going to realize that, you know, your intuition has, you've been ignoring your intuition, your judgment has been clouded, and you want to take a step, a step back before making any major decisions to clear your energy, rid your energy of the toxicity that this person was bringing into your life so that when you, um, start dating again, okay? You don't bring that toxicity into your next relationship, okay? So you're you're just cleansing your energy, doing like a chakra cleanse would be recommended um, to get your intuition and your judgment back on point. And I do feel that someone is going to be giving you their heart, Leo, okay? Um, all right, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. So we've got the seven of wands, and the King of Swords. Leo, you are very serious about taking this time for yourself. I feel like your phone is going to be on silent, not vibrate, silent, airplane mode, okay? You know, reaching you is going to be very difficult over the next month, okay? Because you're going to be very serious about who is around your energy because you want to take time to heal. With the chariot and the ten of pentacles, Leo, you're coming to terms with what you really want in a partner. And I feel like after you take this time for yourself, you'll be good to go. You're ready to, you're ready to get rolling on the dating scene, okay? You're ready to get, you know, I feel like you're going to forgive this person. You're going to shut this cycle out of your life. Um, yeah, you're, you're going to forgive them. And with the death card and the ace of swords, Leo, when you come out of this, you're going to feel different. You're going to feel more awakened. You're going to feel more alive, knowing exactly what it is that you are looking for. And another thing is with the seven of swords, the sun card and the five of swords, you know, all the signs of what to look for, what red flags to look for at this point. If someone is lying, being deceptive, being dishonest, playing mind games, you are aware. Your intuition is on do, 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 high alert. Okay. Anyone that comes towards you, that's got that fuckery, you, you're going to toss it right out. Okay. You are going to talk anybody that's trying to be manipulative. Anyone that's trying to be toxic, you will dead that shit so quick. 
you will dead that shit so quick, okay? Your, your filtering process while you're dating is gonna be much faster, okay? You're, like you're dating someone, they give you one red flag, out. <laughs> There's a, the, the three strike rule is out the door. We're not even doing that. I've heard different things, right? I've heard um, people say three strikes and they're out. I've heard another one that's fun. So you put their name in your phone and every time they mess up, you take a letter of their name off of your phone. And by the time they've messed up, like, let's just say the, the name is Sam. Okay. Mess up one time that there's the M mess up another time. There's the A mess up another time. There's the S and that's it. Your phone is your numbers off my phone. We're not talking no more, you know, but I don't think any of that applies to you, Leo, because as soon as you see that one red flag of fuckery, the, the golden flag of fuckery, you are out. Okay. You're not even, you don't even want to deal with it. We're not even going to get to three. We're not even going to get to three. And that is how you're going to find your emperor. The, your filtration process is nothing to mess with. Tell me about Leo. The eight of pentacles and the nine of cups. You are only going to work on things that make you happy. So Leo, if it doesn't bring you money, if it doesn't bring you joy, if it doesn't bring you ice cream or pizza, you're not fucking with it. Okay. Yeah. If it doesn't bring you chicken nuggets, if it doesn't bring you wine, if it doesn't bring you an orgasm, if it doesn't bring you laughter and peace, you don't want it. Okay. You got to go. You got to go with the strength card and the hermit. You will pull back from someone's energy so quick. They won't even know what the hell happened. Okay. It, it, you are not going to put any time and energy into anything that is not bringing you happiness. Seven of wands and the five of wands. You need some time to yourself, Leo, because you have really been through it with this past person. Constantly fighting for love, affection, attention. You know, you need to stabilize yourself is what you need to do. You need to do a little bit of work on yourself. You're putting that armor on, knowing exactly what you don't want. You don't want anything like this ex, okay? You, you're looking for all the signs. When you date, you're in queen of swords mode and you are not playing with these people. Like you, you will, you are, you will cut someone out so quick, so quick with the two of cups and the 10 of pentacles, you know exactly what you want in love and you are not settling for anything less. Tell me about this eight of pentacles and the justice card. You are only going to put your time and energy into things that like you reap what you sow right? You are not going to, time is valuable. Time is valuable. And at the end of the day, you reap what you sow. So if you have someone in your life that is showing you consistently that they are just about the fuckery and you keep investing into the person that's about the fuckery, guess what your life is going to persist of? Nothing but fuckery. If you, you can't expect, uh, you know, to, to be in heaven when you want to keep dancing with the devil. Do you see? So Leo, you've learned that lesson. You're done investing your time, energy, money, love uh, into people that are just toxic because all that reaps is more toxicity, you know? So the, you're only going to put your time and energy into things that are going to bear good fruit. Tell me about the nine of cups here and the king of wands. There you are, baby. If it doesn't make you happy, it's got to go. If it doesn't make you happy, it's got to go. And Leo, you do have new, because your filtering process in dating has really like, you're not playing, you know, you're just not playing with people. That is what's going to lead you to your emperor. That's what's going to lead you to this new love. Okay. You're not wasting your time. You're not going to sit here and date someone for six months when you know that this person is not going to give you anything that makes your heart and soul happy. And realistically, Leo, if everyone thought like that, we would have no freaking problems we would have no problems. The issue is, is that what happens is we see red flags in people and we're like, is it really that bad? We can fix it. You know, it's like buying a house with termites and saying, eh, it's not that big of a deal. It's got a nice kitchen though. It's got a nice, it's got a nice bathroom. I really love the living room area. The roof is caving in because the termites are eating the whole fucking frame of the house. And it, yeah, it's got a nice backyard. I like the backyard. We should do it. We should definitely do it. You know what I'm saying? So Leo, you know, you're just done. You know, you, you, you're not, you're not making any more stupid decisions. And I'm proud of you, my little lion cubs. I am very, very proud of you. 
All right, let's go ahead <clears throat> and do Leo and all 12 signs. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And all 12 signs, Aries to Pisces. Okay, if we're dealing with an Aries, King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so Leo, I like this. If you're dealing with an Aries, I feel like there's a lot of planning for the future. There's going to be love, there's going to be romance, but the King and Queen of Swords, I mean, King and Queen of Swords is a true pair, and then we've got the Ten of Cups, which is also a soulmate energy, okay? So there's like this energy of you guys can be very romantic when you want to be, but you guys are more about planning. You guys are planning for something, setting goals and working together as a team. If we're dealing with a Taurus, the Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, the Ten of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So Leo, if you are dealing with a Taurus, this is kind of sad because it, it, it could be a beautiful relationship. It does. It has the potential to be a beautiful relationship here. But someone here keeps choosing temptation, toxicity, and with the Ten of Swords, they are destroying this connection little by little. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Leo, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this is someone that, um, how do I put it? Uh, if you guys are in separation, this person cannot get it up or get it, get, get it nice and juicy for anyone else. Are you feeling what I'm saying? This is someone that is not sexually interested in other people. All they keep thinking about is you. If we're dealing with a cancer, the Knight of Swords, the Empress, the Two of Wands, and the Judgment card. So Leo, if you're dealing with a cancer, there is someone here that's going back and forth. This is someone that may... Um, there's two stories here actually. So there could be someone here that is married and they're in and out of your life because they're not, they haven't made a decision yet. Or, you know, you guys may have had a one night stand together if you're dealing with a cancer and someone may have gotten pregnant and now you guys need to decide what to do. Um, if we're dealing with a Leo, we've got the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles, the World card, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, Leo, if you're dealing with another Leo, you could see and say no as much as you want. You could disagree as much as you want, not want to reconcile as much as you want. This bitch ain't taking no for an answer, okay? It's not going to happen. If we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got the Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Ten of Wands, and the Chariot. So Virgo, uh, so Leo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, someone here is secretly juggling you and someone else and they're having a very difficult time making a decision on who they want to choose. If we're dealing with a Libra, <clears throat> the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Virgo, if you're dealing with a Libra, this is someone that's cheating and they are so scared of getting caught. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, we've got the Four of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and Temperance. So, uh, Leo, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like someone here may be cheated and there's going to be apologies and peace here, okay? Maybe you're married to this person or living with this person. Someone's going to forgive someone for cheating. If we're dealing with a Sag, we've got the Hermit, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, Leo, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this is someone that is telling you that they need a little bit of time to themselves, that they need time to think, that they're going through something. In reality, this person is on dating sites or online um, uh, entertaining multiple options, okay? This is someone that may give you excuses that they're at work, they have to work late, or they need a little bit of time to themselves. That's because they're entertaining other options. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups, this is so beautiful, it's disgusting. This is someone that's gonna say, I love you for the first time, or they're gonna show a gesture of how much they're in love with you. This is somebody that wants forever with you. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Two of Swords, the Lover's card, the Moon card, and the King of Wands. Someone here is cheating and they know they have to make a choice soon. If we're dealing with the Knight of, if we're dealing with a Pisces, if we're dealing with a Pisces, I was about to say if we're dealing with the Knight of Pentacles, if we're dealing with a Pisces, the Knight of Pentacles, the Strength card, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Wands. So Leo, if you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like 
Um, there is one person that wants to walk away here, but the other person has the ability to, uh, to stop someone from walking away. Someone here is going to succeed in apologizing, getting forgiveness and bringing this back together. Okay. All right, my loves, I love you so much. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Take care, my darlings.